Hello, my name is Kevin Wolf, and I'm here to demonstrate my ultimate kegerator running Windows 10 IoT Core on Raspberry Pi. If we look at our display here, it controls and displays everything that we need to be able to manage our kegerator. If we look at on the left here, we have our top temperature and our bottom temperature and the status of the actual kegerator itself. You can see our set point is currently set to 36. The bottom temperature is 37, so we're actually cooling at this time. Then if we start going over here to the right, we can see the different kegs that we have in place. Right now we have a brown ale in slot number one. Second slot is empty. We have a lager in the third slot and a root beer in the fourth slot. If we look at the uh, color scheme on here, we can see that the top is a little bit more red than the bottom, or it's blue like that. And we're actually using kind of some shading going on there to be able to kind of give an idea of the temperatures of the different parts in there. We're actually monitoring, like I said, the temperature at the top and the bottom. We also have our towers up there. You can see on the left tower, it's actually sitting at 62.6 degrees, which is that tower. And our right tower is at 53.6 degrees. That's actually important because if that temperature gets too warm as the beverage your root beer or beer goes through there, what'll happen is it generates a lot of foam. So we have our four kegs there, and then on the right here we actually have our CO2, which is a very important contribution to our kegs. It uh, keeps them really flavorful and so on. The measurements we have on there is the amount left in the uh, tank, which is 1.9 pounds, and then the amount that's actually going onto the kegs, 10.4. It's a little bit high right now. I just put some new ones in there, so they need to be carbonated a little bit more. If we take a little bit more detail, look at what we have on our different keg slots here. We have the name on the top, and then 48 beverages remaining, and it's 100% full. So basically what we can do is we can measure the weight of the keg and then figure out how many beverages are left in that. If we actually go ahead and click on one of these, I'm just going to go ahead and tap on it, tap on it. We can see we have the screen for being able to control the uh, kind of the configuration of the thing. So here what we have over here is the raw data, and then... I'm going to go back. I think I clicked on the wrong one. Sorry. You can see that this is actually is empty on there, so I must have clicked on the wrong one. I'm just going to go, if we toggle that, it'll actually let us uh, see here. There we go. So now we can actually do the settings and so on. So I'm going to close that out and actually go back to this one right here. Go to this one here. And here we can see we have the different weights associated with it. The raw, or actually that's a hex number on the top that represents the number of counts coming off of the scale. The top number, that actual number there, that's the actual weight of these, the uh, keg um, being weighed on the scale, uh, which is pretty much the full. And we have the contents of 35.6 and the container is 10 pounds itself. So the keg itself is 10 pounds, which leaves us a content of 35.6 pounds. We can specify our glass size over here and then we divide the contents by the glass size, we can get the quantity of beverages left in the keg. We also have buttons over here to do our calibration, and then we put a new keg on there. We can press set full to be able to go ahead and um, say we're starting a new keg to get the 100% mark. So there you have it, the ultimate kegerator.